In today's video, learn exactly what the illustrator offset function is and how your projects can incorporate the function to make some really cool designs, but also how to apply it to text really efficiently. So today I'm going to show you the offset function on both a shape and also text in Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, let's generate a standard stroke on our design. And this is something that we're probably all familiar with, I'm pretty sure. So like I said, I'm first going to show you what the offset function actually is and how to modify it, but then also how to add it to text. Now, the way that I apply the offset function is that I come into the appearance window so go ahead and open up that for yourself. I'm working on a new shape without a stroke, so in the top right drop down menu, click add a new stroke. Depending on your design, you might want to drop the stroke below the fill layer, but in my case today it doesn't really matter. We can quickly increase or decrease the stroke weight here within the appearance panel, and then to apply the offset function, we need to come down to the effects menu here, and navigate to path and then offset path. Offset path essentially moves the stroke away from the edge of the shape or the design, leaving a transparent gap in between. The offset number is going to determine how far away the stroke is going to move from the shape. The joins field allows you to edit the new path's angles. A meter is a pointed corner and round is obviously a rounded corner, and then bevel is a flat corner. The meter limit is how far the points can extend beyond the original path. So as you can see, the stroke moves according to the offset measurement with the preview box checked to see all changes in real time. And to prove it, here you can see the canvas in Illustrator through the transparent gap. In the appearance panel, you can edit the colour of the stroke very easily, but there are actually so many different things you can do in the appearance panel, as you will soon see. One of the things that you can do to your design is to add an effect, so for example a Gaussian blur. I suggest that you do experiment with the effects panel, because there are really so many different possibilities here for your designs. So here's a really cool technique that we can apply to the offset function. As you can see, I have an offset ring which is quite a distance from the circle itself. We can then add a gradient overlay right here. And then from there, apply white to both sides of the gradient. Then change the angle to 90 degrees and lower the opacity of one of the sides of the gradient. This looks really neat and it's another technique that you can apply to a vector design whilst using the offset function. But to go even further, we can adjust the stroke style here in the top menu in Illustrator, and then experiment with the different settings that you can use here. In the appearance panel alone, there are a lot of choices for you as a designer when used in combination with the offset function. It can really help to create some awesome things when teamed up with your creativity. Now finally today, I'm going to show you how to add an offset path function to text properly and efficiently. So here we have some text with the stroke within the appearance panel. When we go to add the offset function to our text, what do you think is going to happen? I'll increase the offset measurement here, so you can now see chaos has ensued, simply because Illustrator has created the offset according to every single letter and not the design as a whole. So the workaround here is to take your text and then convert it to a compound shape in the Pathfinder window. Once the text is a compound shape, we can then navigate back to the appearance panel and then add a new stroke. Select the colour for the stroke and then drop it down below all layers. As before, use the offset path function and then click the preview box to see your changes in real time. As you will notice, we now have a neat and a tidy offset stroke around the text, and we can adjust the join settings too. 
If you have sections of your stroke that you don't wish to use, you can expand the design and remove them with the direct selection tool. But be mindful that when you expand the lettering, you're not going to be able to change the text itself from here on out. Pressing A will access the direct selection tool and then simply click the anchor points and press backspace on your keyboard. That was today's video on using the offset path function in Adobe Illustrator. Do you think you can make some cool designs using this function? Let me know and also leave a comment if you found today's tutorial useful. Like and share my content on social media if you want to have parts of Tori Graphics. And of course have a great day everybody and until next time design your future today. Peace.